Welcome back to Toolbox Tuesday, where I show you a tool that you're either going to want or you're going to want to stay away from. Today I'm going to show you one that you're going to want to make. I got to give credit. I got this off a YouTube video. I can't find it anymore. It's probably still out there. Um, however, I needed a smoke machine to smoke vehicles and stuff like that to find intake leaks, vacuum leaks, stuff like that. And, um, man, they're expensive, you know, a cheap one, several hundred dollars. So I found a guy that made one and I'm going to show you what I made out of it. You've got a regular closet flange for your toilet. And then you've got a adapter that goes to a screw cap. You put a quarter 20 bolt in one side, bolt in the other side, and you get you a tiki torque, tiki torque wick. <clears throat> and you wrap it in like, I think that's 023 welding wire. Put one end under that bolt, one end under that bolt. I'll do a fuse in there because I'm weird. Anyway, you hook your positive to your positive, your negative to your negative, And you'll see this thing's going to start putting off smoke. You see that? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and unhook it. You put this cap on, and the oil in the side that's making it smoke, I use baby oil for that. I'm going to set you down while I screw this cap on. All right, I got my cap on. I put this hose, and I just put uh, a drilled and tapped a fitting for an air chuck on each side. The original idea was that I'd hook a real low flow of uh, air onto one side, and it would blow the smoke out but I tell you what works about as good as any is just blowing it with your mouth you could and use an air uh, spray nozzle if you wanted to or whatever but it just works real good blowing it with your mouth uh, and I'm waiting for all the that's what she said jokes I just put me a little piece of hose that matched those two into the main hose coming from the brake booster and I'm gonna light this thing off if I can find my clip and I'll let it build some smoke. I'll, I'll leave my thumb off of that right there for now. And I'll be able to see it leaking. And when it starts leaking smoke from here. Then I know that the, the canister's full of smoke and ready to go. As you can see here, it's starting to leak smoke out. Boy, it's hard to see it on the camera. You can see a little bit there. So, I'll just wipe this off and start pushing it through there real slow with my mouth. We'll see if we can find the leak. Oh, it's getting going now. Look at this. As soon as I take my mouth off of it, it starts just pouring out of there. See it? I see one leak right here. I believe that's the idle air control. This whole side over here is leaking from somewhere. I bet we got us an intake leak. Let me see if I can get an extra set of hands here. All right, now I can see what we're working with here. Get this flashlight set up. I found it. I was going to show you guys. Set in there. I'm gonna give it a little air. It's coming right from where that you can see the intake gasket right there. It's doing that. You can see the dirty spot where it's been leaking, and there's another one in the back that's doing it as well. air wand I'm 
I think I got 20 bucks in that thing. Well worth it. Well worth it. Well, anyway, I hope you guys learned something today. I learned that I got to put an intake gasket and an idle air control on this truck. So, anyway, you guys subscribe if you haven't. Appreciate you. God bless.